Guys, hello sir. We are here to report uh, our topic about fisheries administrative order number 199. I am Jason Serigundula. I am Adrian Cabrera. And we are about to start our report. So first, PAO number 199 series of 2000 with the subject of guidelines on fish transshipment. Pursuant to section 341 and 42 of Republic Act number 8550, the following guidelines on the transshipment of the fish caught outside Philippine waters by foreign fishing vessels are hereby promulgated for compliance by all concerned. Transshipment, the process in which the fish from foreign fishing vessels is unloaded, cleaned, classified, and packed at the DFPC or any other designated government-owned and controlled regional fish port complex and transshipped by air freight to other countries of the destination. So, ang transshipment, mao ni ang pag-transfer sa fish gikan sa mga mga foreign nga vessels or kanang other nga mga Ma pangisdaan bitaw sa kulain nga mga nasod i-transfer dong sa ato ang uh, area pamagi sa mga legal nga mga diesel pad. So next is transshipment agent. Any person pa partnership or corporation duly organized and existing under and ver by virtue of the laws of the Republic of the Philippines having an office inside the premises of the DFPC or any duty designated government owned or controlled regional fish port complex and who acts as the legal agent representative of the foreign fishing operator intending to utilize the fish port facilities for the transshipment of the fish caught in international waters for foreign market kit destination so on transshipment agents mao ni siya ang handle or ang person nga naa sa sa kanang duty nga moy mo mo hold sa aning transshipment so next is the section 1 or the objectives so objectives the set of guidelines aims to carry out and implement Various functions of government agencies relative to fish transshipment activities like entry and berthing of foreign, vis foreign vessels, fish unloading, processing, and eventual transshipment of fish and byproducts to the foreign markets and to facilitate and expedite the processing of the necessary documents and other requirements relative to the transshipment operation of the foreign fishing vessels in the Dabao Fish Port Complex in Dabao City or any dis duly designated government owned or controlled regional fish port complexes in the Philippines. So, muna to, as I, as I said earlier nga, um, ang objectives sa ni nga, nga well, fisheries order mo ang transshipment or ang pag-transfer sa fish sa, gikan sa parent vessels pa dong sa atong port by, by means of sa pwede sa mga by air or other fishing vessels nga mo direct sa atong sa sa gagi state ani Davao Davao fish port or any other port nga nasa uh, inside the Philippines Philippines so. next is section 2 or the definition of terms as used in these guidelines the following terms and phrases shall mean so first is the BIFAR or the Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources. Next is the BI or the Bureau of Immigration. So next is the BOC or the Bureau of Customs. The DA or the Department of Agriculture. DFA, the Department of Foreign Affairs. DAPC or the Dabao Peace Port Complex. Foreign fishing vessels or means uh, fishing vessels registered in countries other than the Philippines. So, money ang foreign fishing vessels.
foreign fishing operator, one who owns and provides the means including labor, capital, fishing gear, and vessels which may or may not be engaged in direct fishing duly licensed by other, other country. So, muna ang operator nga rehistrado sa laing nasod, pwede sila makapangisda outside sa Philippine waters. Muna siya ang ma-include sa transshipment. Next is the LGUs or the Local Government Unit. LOA, the length over all of the vessel. NQO, the National Quarantine Office. One Step Action Center or the OSAC or OSA. A multi-agency multi government center created pursuant to memorandum of agreement duly notarized on August 8, 1996, whose principal tasks include but not limited to the processing of documents of fishery products that are to be transshipped to foreign markets and the documentation of incoming and outgoing foreign visit. PCG, the Philippine Coast Guard. PFDA, the Philippine Fisheries Development Authority. PN, or the Philippine Navy. PNASG, the Philippine National Police Aviation Security Group. So, PNPMG, the Philippine National Police Maritime Group. POAA, the Philippine Overseas Employment Administration. So, Philippine waters include all bodies of waters within the Philippine territory such as lakes, streams, creeks, brooks, ponds, swamps, lagoons, gulfs, bays, and seas, and other bodies of water now existing or which may hereafter exist in the provinces, cities, municipalities, and barangays, and where waters around between and connecting the islands of the archipelago, regardless of their breadth and dimension, the territorial sea, the sea buds, the insular shelves, and other waters over which the Philippines has sovereignty and jurisdiction including the 200 nautical miles exclusive economic zone and continental shape. So, ang Philippine waters, wala na sa na-include nga sa sa dagat ra. Kanang mga tubig nga, apil sa ponds, kanang mga kanang lakes, rivers, kanang nga tubig nga naasod sa Philippines, apil na sa Philippine waters. Then, ang apil po, kanang na asod sa exclusive economic zone or 200 nautical miles uh, around the Philippine areas. Uh, example, ane is the kanang Kalayaan Islands o kanang napod sa giligan nga teritoryo karon sa exclusive economic zone ng sa Scarborough, Scarborough Shoal. Pero nai portion ra na ang apart sa Philippines mo na giligan kay said man nasa uh, 200 nautical miles EEZ. So, Nagya po ay kanong katungad ang Pilipinas nga mangisda na ang area kay set pa man sa Philippine waters. So, so ag above mention nga kato mga about sa pin P is GMG bisa uh, mga branch na sila sa government nga moy nagprotect sa around sa area area sa Philippine, uh, sa Philippine waters nga direct sa government si Jam ay ga hold ga hold ga ga sana ga protect para sa responsibility ug sa kanang security sa atong kanang national territory Next is the skipper the deck officer in command of the vessel So kaning skipper other term ni siya sa captain kung ta uh, na formal term kay captain kung sa ship o ka ng mga dagko nga barko captain kung si Roplano, pilot aning mga fishing vessel gitawag ni sag skipper next is section 3 or the passage pare passage the foreign fishing vessels intending to call at any duty designated government owned or controlled regional fish port for unloading of fish caught outside Philippine waters for trans transshipment shall pass through the navigational lane to be trans transshipment shall pass through the navigational lane to be designated for the, this purpose. 
na vacational lanes or other government owned for control regional peaceports to the designated as transit main points shall be determined and identified through separate fisheries administrative orders accordingly. So nanginahanglan niya pong passage kung foreign vessels ang mulabay, nanginahanglan na navigational nga contact sa mga Philippine Navy, sa Philippine Coast Guard niya na para para hatagan sila ng authority nga makasod sa area mo nang gitawag og passage. So, section 4. So, I like remain transit transshipment mo na man ang gidiskus kay diha sa dinan na nagbalik gidiskus kay para man ang meaning sa transshipment mo ni ang pagbalhin sa sa uh, sa cargo sa uh, kanang mga nakuha nga mga isda sa isa ka ship nga naka-register sa lain nga nasod or any ship basta wa naka-register sa Philippines nga ibalhin sa ato ang area mo ni gitawag og transshipment Next is section 5 Organization of one stop action center one stop action uh, one stop center or the OSEC shall be recognized in every designated government owned or controlled regional fishport complex whose principal tasks include but not limited to the processing of documents of fishery products that are to be transshipped to foreign markets and the documentation of incoming and outgoing foreign vessels. This office shall be composed of representatives of government agencies including the PFDA, DOC, BI, NQO, P Philippine Navy, Philippine Immigration, uh, Immigration National Quarantine Office, PCG, PNPMG, uh, POAA, and uh, BFAR, as well as the lead agency. So, maulit sila ang mga brands sa uh, government na mag-hold para sa pag-transship mo ni ang center o uh, mga magama sila one-stop uh, one stop action center para ato ma, ma process kung unsaan pag pass ang authority sa mga foreign vessels para ma magamaan og legal nga basis nga makasulod sa atong teritoryo so section 6 the clearance so foreign fishing vessels intending to call at any designated government owned or controlled regional Fish port complex shall first be accredited by the BFAR and shall secure in entry clearance from the Department of Foreign Affairs or the DFA or its duly designated agency before the entering Philippines territorial waters and shall not notify the Bureau of Immigration or other name of the vessel, its registry number, its last port of call, the name of its keeper and its whole crew and their nationality. So, ang clearance, nag-include ni si Zamo, or legal ni si Zamo, nga paper para ma, ma, nakaraid, nakasuwat ito ang pagan sa, bar, uh, sa ilang vessel, sa ga, gahol na na, kanang skipper nila, sa nakarehistro ang number, o sa country nga asa sila, naka, uh, including sa ilang nationalities mo na nanginanglan sa clearance sa, sa, kana, para maka-entrance maka sa Philippine areas nato para makasayod ang ilang transshipment pamaagi sa BPAR, DFA o sa Bureau of Immigration so next is section 7 section 7 ah. so section 7 general procedures vessel accreditation the transshipment agent shall initiate the accreditation, accreditation of foreign facing vessels under their stewardship all applicants for accreditation shall be filled with the designated regional fishports the port manager shall recommend the application for accreditation on the bureau of fisheries and aquatic resources in accordance with the prescribed manual of operation and on the matter so maon is ang kanang sundon nga procedures para sa step by step nga process kung unsa the ang transshipment so first, application for accreditation shall be complied by the following documents. The 1.1 Name of fishing vessels, registry number, previous names, national flag, and port of registry. So muna ang kinahanglan. Muna first nga kinahanglanon. Next is 1.2 Applications for accreditation shall be complied by a uh, 5 by 10 picture. Name and uh, muna sila nang kinahanglan mo attach o picture 
the name and address of owner or owners. So, ang inanglan din ang isatunan para para sa documentation ba. So, 1.4, name and address of operator or manager or operators with the uh, manager, including managers. Next is the international radio sign and radio frequency mo niyang radar ng inanglan sa isang line radar para night connection ya pong contact uh, patarong ang connection the next is where and when built ang bisel ang uh, inanglan pag di uh, information this ana gigama o kanis a gigama type of bisel uh, yan di define na sila small bisel na ba na sila kanang pag commercial So, isa gano'n sa basta kay Mandidify nga ang sang nga type of vessel then type of fishing method or methods then klase sa pag isda then length LOA so moto ang sang katasun ng barko katakun siya o so, fishing ba na siya or de moldy tip red gross and net registered tonnage maunis siya ang other terms sa uh, kung asan ni siya uh, technical terms about sa ship o sa vessel, fishing vessel sa rin po ni Hiza, isang pilay kapasiti ni Hiza o asa pilay kalaw mo ng isang makaya maabot 1.13 all applications shall be accomplied by an accreditation fee of 5,000 per vessel in addition, a departure clearance of 100 pesos shall be charged to each vessel by the VPAR so nagya po ni Zay Bayad kung magkuha kang accreditation para sa pagkuha ng clearance ni so, including sa tanan nga information ni mong uh, charge o 5,000 per vessel karabar ko din ang clearance so, pag abot ni Zosa ting departure clearance na kandidat pa daw 100 pesos so sa ang VPAR may mo charge ni eh? Next, 1.14, profile and pictures of the skipper and all its crew members for verification and the derogatory investigation. So, nang inahanglan, ya po, no, kanang pictures, tagsa-tagsa. The VPAR shall furnish on a monthly basis the pertinent bureaus the list of its accredited vessels. So, number 2, pre-arrival requirements. So, any foreign fishing vessels intending to dock or at the DFPC or any other government's own or controlled regional fish port complex as its transit and resupply point shall, through its duly authorized agent, certify OSEC 48 hours before the vessel's estimated time of arrival and arrival shall contain the following information. So, maunay ang requirements sa di pa muabot ang fishing vessel sa atong area or sa atong Bisports nga nang inanglan nag mga clearance so napa di lain nga kinanglanon so uh, there are other technical nga mga requirements isa sila makasud sa early atong mga ports area para makatransship sa ilahang mga products so nang inanglan nga pag name of vessels registry number of vessels accreditation number of vessels uh, it already accredited kay yeah, namay uban nga wapan accredited for yung mga vessel type of vessels then LOA or drop so katong link of So, it's a vessel na siya kaya po. So, So, ito po yung pahit. Estimated time of arrival, date and hour, hour should be in military form. So, ang ilang time pwede nikabot nila sa mga pa na mozi na yung nakarecord basta kasagaran ng vessels ang ilang military, military form, ang ilang style ng pagbasa. So, ang first is, 1 a.m. should be read at 12 hours ang iswata ni Proanis na 0-100 hours ang 12 noon should read as 1200 hours next is 2 p.m. should be read as 1400 hours 10 p.m. should read as 2200 hours 12 midnight should read as 2400 hours so exactly coordinate of the vessels we notice was transmitted so ihatang sila ang sakto nga coordinate para ma-identify kung asa nga area na dapit ang vessels. Next is the name and nationality of the skipper or boat captain. Mo din siya na dapat naka dapat i-specify din ang pangalan sa gahold sa barko sa skipper or kanang captain din. 
name number nationality of crewman or on board so tanan po nga crew nga sud sa usa ka fishing vessel nang inhangdan po na basta kay out mga foreign sila na outside sila nang inhangdan sila, sila authority nga ihatag tanan nila mga pangalan ug tanan nga information volume of catch by species fishing areas and exact coordinates so ang ilang mga nakuha nga isda ipanghata o kanang panghata pa ng information pila ka daghanon unsa nga klase sa so, moto nature by sickness and injuries of crow if there is any so kung naay nagka problema naay na na nasamad ba or na injury throw kanang pag fishing nila i-report ya ko na emergency or security assistance if needed so nang inanglag emergency assistance kung dili kani nang inanglan na ning kung delikado na delikado mo na nang inanglan ang security of uh, kanang emergency or security assistance or nakamit sila og mga circumstances nga mas Silisod na nanginang lang silang security assistance So next Ako na po guys, continuation ni sa among report ni Jason Birthing and boarding formalities A foreign vessel upon arrival proceeds to the space reserve or designated quarantine anchorage for boarding formalities With a yellow quarantine flag twisted on its mast Boarding formalities shall be conducted by authorized personnel of the NQO, BOC, BI, PCG, and BPAR quarantine office. Only after a clearance has been granted by the boarding team, may the vessel be allowed to proceed and dock at her agent designated berthing space. The BOC shall issue special permit to unload fish, special permits to load fishing, paraphernalia, part supplies, and other provisions. The Bureau of Immigration shall be responsible for the assignment of personnel on board said fishing Bissels while at birth to ensure that the foreign nationals are guarded. So kung usa pa mudunggo ning bissels sa ni guys, kinanglan ni like nana sila accommodation sa asa sila mudunggo, nana sila mga kontak ko, unsay lang mga shipments para makadunggo sila nga way way daghang kuskus balungos ba. To expedite the processing of boarding formalities, the bissels keeper shall produce the following documents. Mo ni ang mga dokumento nga ihatag sa skipper guys o katong kita captain ba mga sa fishing vessels man eh skipper ang tawag ani una outward parent modified of its last port of call Mo ni ang kuan kun ang, ang tawag last port of call sa na pre ang last ang last yang uh, kuan mando sa man ang ah ang kanang tawag din sa bitaw basa sa air sa port oh. yapon okay. ships particular Role list, mga listahan, maritime declaration of health and valid rating certificate, seaman's book and or passports of crew, cargo manifest and miscellaneous listing. Mao ni sila kinanglan ni sila i-present sa kuan skipper para makadunggo sila dito sa ilang destinasyon. Foreign fishing vessels cleared by the boarding team shall remain under the body of the BI and shall be of limits to any unauthorized person. Upon completion of the boarding formalities, the foreign fishing vessel shall proceed to her shipping agent's designated berthing space. After the fishing vessel has been securely berthed at her agent's designated berthing space, the skipper of the foreign fishing vessel or its duty, duly authorized shipping agent shall submit to the fish ports its roll book for entry stamping stamping and shall accomplish the prescribed application form for which vessel berthing repair, unloading and loading. The Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources or the BPAR personnel in coordination with the Transshipment Agency and in compliance to the observers programs can send observers to board the fishing vessels after boarding formalities to collect fisheries data which may be useful to the, in the formulation of the policies at the designated berthing space. Unloading of fish cargo. Uh, Magkuha na ta guys. Mag, maghabuan na ta sa atong mga cargo. Actual unloading, cleaning, classifying, and packing of fish shall at all times be witnessed by the representatives of BOC, PNP, MG, BPAR, PFDE, and the PNP ESG. Usa ta mo kuha na guys. Kinanglan natay ka ng watcher na to ba. Ma-witness. Para iniglo, makaibaw sila o pila itong karga nga na. The transshipment agent or shipping agent shall start its unloading operation of the vessel fish cargo at their designated berthing space only. Ato ra sun sila mag mag unload sa ila dong lugar ra nila dili sila pwede mo ato unload sa laing uh, lugar. 
After securing a special permit to unload its cargo from BOC and BIFAR, the transshipment agent shall first secure from the BOC a permit to transship the sashimi grade tuna and other tuna-like species and assign conduction guard for the transport of fish to the airport. The PNP ASJ personnel shall likewise escort the fish cargo from the fish port to the international airport for avision security purposes. So, mag-unload ito mga fish cargo guys. Daghan na ito kayo mga kuan, agian na ito. Daghan pong witness, mag-guard na ito para masecure atong mga produkto. Next is loading of pro vessel provisions. All parent vessels shall be allowed to load fuel provisions only after securing a bankering permit from the Bureau of Customs. So, mag magpagasulina ni sila, kinanglan na sila permit mo kwa, kaya sila unag permit sa Bureau of Customs para matagaan, mag-rantid ilang kuan. A copy of bankering permit shall be furnished by the transshipment agent to the fish port officer for record purposes. Uh, I-record gya po na nila, inigumanin nila kuan, pakarga, gasolina. Loading of other voyage provisions like baits, kaning mga ng beach, ilang paon, water, ice, and tanan ni gamit sa kuan, mga mag magkarga ka, i-record yun ang nila tanan. Undertaken only when prior clearance from the USAC Fish Port Complex and other government agencies concerned has been secured and the loading perform has personnel shall board the vessel bird at the harbor basin for monitoring purposes. I-monitor na nila tanan di ay Fishport personnel shall board the with bird at the harbor basin to conduct ocular inspection of the closely monitored the PCJ, BPAR, PNP, MG and the PFDA port personnel shall closely monitor the compliance of all fishing vessels at port to anti-pollution and solace laws. So, sila na kinanglan na batayan nila ng guwan on say mong da mga cargo para Ibaw sila nga di ka magdag mga kuwan sa dagat. The PNP MG shall investigate and arrest the crew members who are on the wanted list of the BI and other agencies. Kinanglan wa kay mga criminal records ug musampa ka ka nang ug mangisag mangisda. Ultimo mangisda guys, kinanglan na kay kinanglan wa kay record nga mga criminals kay di ka pwede pasakyon na to man. Kay kuwan nga ka nang mag maglaklayo biya mo biyahe na sa dagat ta kinanglan expert mo na. Dag na kay criminal record ah, takta ka dito pre departure requirements kanang pre kanang usa pa ka mo larga mo ni requirements nito the skipper of the parent vessel shall first secure a departure clearance from the fish port complex kina clearance gihapon clearance is issued by the fish port is a pre requisite for issuance of the clearance by the usak DAPC departure clearance shall only be issued upon the payment of a clearance fee of 100 pesos. Ah, 100 of the pesos bayad na yung clearance fee dahil. Per parent fishing vessel to the FDA after all regular charges and other accountabilities have been settled. The clearance from the BI, NQO, livestock, plant and fisheries quarantine FDA and the POE shall be attached to the BOC clearance. The BOC shall issue the final exit departure clearance of the vessel. Ang BOA na yung mukuhan sa ibang approve sa ibang exit para makalarga na ka. A copy of the BOC clearance of a vessel to a parent port and outward parent manifest of the departing vessel together with a master oath of safety. Departure issued by the PCG shall be provided by to the fish port office by the vessel shipping agent. Departure from the port without the necessary clearances from the fish and OSAC shall result to the discreditation of the vessel and the blacklisting of the owner. Ah, uh, din ah, ma-blacklist na ka. Huwag na kayo mga gipanghimo nga kuan. Lukuangan yung mga requirements, mga documents. Di ka, pwede mga kalarga. Ma-blacklist ka dito. Without the prejudices to the criminal prosecution under immigration, labor and other laws, rules and regulations. Vessel movements. Mobility of bird vessels. Ah, ang kwan na yung lihok na yung sa imong kwan. Movements ni mo sa imong, imong barko ni. Eh. All vessels, bird, at duly designated government-owned controlled regional fish port complexes shall at all times be manned by a deck officer and engine room personnel competent to move the vessel when needed. A vessel that cannot 
remove other berthing areas because of the absence of a competent officer shall be towed outside to the harbor basin to the account of the vessel captain or the owner vessel or transshipment shipping agent. Kinanglan din yung mularga, mularga ka na yung nakakompleto, yung mga crew, yung mga captain diha. Huwag kaya mo, buyuron rin mo sa kuhan, kung na yung absent is sa pag-uyod rin mo sa kuhan, na may mga tuwing anong kuhan, anong dagat. Daghan man na, dagko ganyan nagswildo ng tiktuwa na. Bissell needing repair. Kung mag-ayo na po ta. Bissell's needing repair shall first secure a permit to repair. Kinangla na po tag-permit. Tanan, pamaki sa mga Aso, parang bisils, kinanglan na nag mga permit, tanan guys, di na pwede mag patahalahalar ka niya Due to lack of berthing area for repair purposes, only only minor repairs ka nang, ah di, kuwang mag silag area para pang oh, mag repair silag mga dagko, mga bisils, di na sila mo repair mga dagko, ang kuwan po, ang guba, mga minor sa ilang nga repair, kaya mo sila kakuanan nga lugar which should be completed within 48 hours shall be allowed oh 48 hours agad niyo nagubaw ro itong makina to kung saan pag repair ito 48 hours ang repair ron nila baka buslot buslot kung saan niya kaya rin na repair ron sunken bezels ka ng sunken ka ng ming lubog ka ng mga kuhan kuhan na nasa dagat na nalunod na in case a bezel sinks within the harbor basin due to cause beyond the control of owner operator The owner or operator or the transshipment agent shall refloat and tow away the vessel outside the harbor basin with 15 calendar days reckoned from the date of the receipt of the notice after which the fishport management shall salvage the vessel at the account of the owner or its shipping agent. Ah, within 15 kwa na dahil 15 days ra pinanglan makuha na na ni mo dia sa kwa para masalvage pa na di na pwedik padugayon dia kaya di na di na na makuha pa lumutan po yana isda. The PCG B par sanitation and anti pollution. Bawa ni kenanglah nanti maghinlo, para mohonin sila the PCG B par and the port personnel shall closely monitor the compliance of all fishing vessels at port to anti pollution laws. Kenanglah tu nai mung fishing vessels hinlo, bawa kah magkuan tu magugau-gau kay lah emu karga kay magkuan bea mga masing nai magkuan di to oil spill seragat di mah kenaut na putanin. The Peaceport Complex, BPAR, PCG, and NQO shall strictly implement measures to maintain the cleanliness and sanitation of its harbor facilities and good condition of the marine environment. As such, the following anti-pollution regulations shall be strictly lowered. All foreign vessels entering a Peaceport Complex should have proper human waste storage and disposal system on board. Kinanglan doon na, ang malibang lakatong dagat. Kinanglan ay mong vessels na anay kasilyas, na ay saktong basurahan kaya hindi ka patatag labay kay malibang ka itong dagat ah, dakpan ka dito garbage and other inorganic waste from the basil shall be properly disposed in the garbage containers ah, mga naging ano, kinangla, naging naay basurahan lagi discharge of bilge, water and oil is strictly prohibited to the harbor basin ah, di na pwede mag na ay saktong butanganan ng ilang mga oil, ng mga use oil sa barko di ka pwede, di patakatakag butang sa dagat na Ila nang i-discarga sa sakto nga lugar, ilang i-dispose. Transshipment agents shall provide garbage containers in respective workplaces in the market hall for the proper disposal of the garbage and waste in the cleaning of tuna and shall have the full responsibility to observe the sanitation and hygiene practices in the area. Ah, kinanglan, nagig ba mga basurahan, bisag asa na ibutangan, mga mga kuan, ka nang sakto nang i-disposan sa mga waste. Para di ta magkalat-kalat dito. The penalties and sanctions provided for under existing pollution laws will be imposed by the Fish Port Management and Philippine Coast Guard Violations Theory. Ah, Philippine Coast Guard, ay mo kuha na no? sa mga laws. Huwag makapinalti ka. Nara nila ang pilay mong mapayaran o no? mapriso ka. Ka. Sure pass and immigration guarding. All parent crew intending to leave the port to secure provisions or for rest and recreation shall secure a sure pass from the BI at no instance shall a foreign crew be allowed to leave the port premises without a sure pass issued by the BI and without immigration guarding. Recruitment and vessel manning. The POEA shall conduct investigations regarding the working conditions and the contracts of Filipino crew onboarding foreign vessels and shall encourage more Filipinos 
to board these foreign vessels as crew member, the POEA shall adopt a fast track procedure ensuring overseas workers' employment clearance with list requirements for local hires. Ang POEA, riba, Philippine Overseas na? Enforcement Agency. Sila ay bahala ng mga investiga sa mga working conditions o kontrata sa mga Pilipino cross. Security and order. The transshipment agent shall be responsible for the properties on board foreign vessels. This service, the PNP MG shall implement police functions in internal security and peace order inside the port complex within their jurisdictional area of responsibility. The PNP MG shall Therefore, take the lead curbing the incidents of criminality inside the port complex and its vicinity. Ah, police ay bahala kung may mga krimen may tabu sa tabuan port. Section 8, penalty and clause. Ma penalty na ni. Violations of any of the provisions of administrative order shall cause the cancellations of the accreditation of the foreign vessels and loss of right to avail of the transshipment of its fish and fishery aquatic products in any Philippine port and prosecution under any applicable Philippine laws, rules, and regulations if any there be. Section 9. Repealing clause. All previous orders that are inconsistent herewith are deemed revoked. O, undangon. Ihunong nila ang imong kuwan, ang validity sa imong kuwan. Sa mga order ni mo, huwag na kay kuwan. Mga, sana, kay paglambag ba? Effectivity. The order shall take effect 15 days after its publication in its official gazette and newspapers of general circulation. Maura sa kwan eh, effective na sila 15 days. So, maura to guys, ang last. Maura to, ano kuman na, ang mga talaga about sa transshipment. So, thank you for listening. Listening, ah, sa, ang ta, nakasambot mo sa mga explanation guys. Salamat kayo.